The following tutorial is brought to you by WholeLoops.com. It's production time. I'm Reed Stefan, realist puppet in the game. Today is all about impulse. Impulse reminds me of the old school drum pad, the way you use it and the way it's laid out. The power of Impulse is that you can load up up to eight different samples into this sampler and trigger them all back at the same time, which makes it an excellent choice for beat making because you can play different samples together all at the same time, like a drummer on your piano. This is just simply a way to jam out. And in the songwriting process, the ability to jam out and be hands-on with your drum beat is essential to me, and this is why I love Impulse. And I slept on this for a long time, so let's start loading this thing up with some samples and make a beat. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna pick an 808 from here. Let's start with. Uh... I like this one's clean. Let's put this as one in the first cell, and that means the letter A on your typing keyboard or middle C on your MIDI piano will trigger this. Now the first thing I want to do to this sample is have it cut off when I take my finger off the key. Uh, I like to do that with my 808s, so all I gotta do is switch trigger, which makes this a decay kind of amount, like a overall length of the sample, just switch it to gate, and then pull this down, and this becomes more of, this should say release up here when you switch this to gate, because this is more of a release knob when this is in gate mode. I run around 100 so it doesn't get cut off too harsh. Um, oh, maybe I'm going to filter out some of the distortion on top. Oh, and let's turn this down a bunch too. Around there. We don't want our thing clipping. And I also don't want any velocity in my 808. I actually want all these to come out full volume. So I'm going to pull velocity down, put that back at zero. And I'm also going to turn this down to about minus eight because, oops, because that comes out pretty loud too once we got all our drums in here. Moving on. Let's go dig up a kick. Actually, there's a impact I heard earlier in here that make a kick out of this. This is a... now we could shorten this. It's kind of a long sample, not too good for a kick drum in this beat. So let's use our gate. We're gonna do the same thing, or we can play that for a long time if we want. Let's turn our volume down. Actually, let's try turning it on uh, decay mode. Kind of makes them sit nicely together. And you could really use these controls to, uh, I just shortened the kick drum using this. And this is a control that you don't get in Simpler or Sampler. Extremely useful. It kind of sounds like shit when you stretch it out, unless you were trying to do something that was intentionally supposed to sound like shit. but. When you shorten it, not bad. Uh, let's go to snares. I'm gonna make a hip hop beat. Let's do it. Hell yeah. Now I want this snare to play out full length no matter how short I hold the, uh, the it's E on my MIDI piano or D on your uh, laptop's typing keyboard. Let's uh, turn the volume down on this. Let's turn the velocity down actually. That way it's Perfect. And let's turn this down to minus 10. Let's lay down a beat. I'm just gonna do that one measure. Just cut it back, Command J to shorten it, turn a loop out of it. Boom. Let's do Command J, quantize those. I'm gonna add a kick. And you can see here is already folded for you. This is what I love about Impulse, super quick. It already tells you what sample is which channel. Yeah. Let's uh, add some more in our drum beat. Are you one of the many music producers who struggle with music theory? Wouldn't it be nice to have a library of blazing hot chord progressions freshly prepared for your beats? Here at Whole Loops, we've got the solution to your struggle. Introducing Pop-In Progressions, 
our very first MIDI collection of major and minor pop structured chord progressions ready to drop into your session. You'll never waste your time again struggling to construct confusing chords or begin a musical idea. Just grab a pop and progression and drop it into your session. Pop and Progressions is available now only at Holoops.com. We have eight cells. We've only used three so far. As you can see, this is so fast and I love this. I like this hat. Let's put a shaker in here too, just to have a couple options. Boom. I'll use this one, I like this one. Cool, let's record some drums. Let's see, we can duplicate this half, make our loop out of this, Command J to cut everything else out, boom. I don't like this second one. I'm gonna move this one. Make sure it's all eighth note, boom. And let's make some real short ratchet ones. Right there. Put an open hat in here too. Got all these cells, we're gonna use all eight of them. I like that. I'm gonna definitely turn this to cut off. I'm gonna transpose this one down too. Kinda like the way open hats sound when you... Let's record into this beat. Uh. Uh, uh. Cool. Highlight this. Command J to cut off all the excess. Let's uh, let's just do this top layer. Command U. Now I'm gonna take all this. I'm gonna swing this. Turn the metronome off now. Let's see what we did. Uh. Let's do a little early clap action. I like that. Damn. Fire department's coming to shut down this hot ass beat I got going. All right. Let's put our claps in here. Uh. Maybe that's what I'm gonna call this. Fire department. Quantize. Remember I said this is gonna be our early clap, so I'm actually gonna hold command and use the left arrow to nudge these early. Hitting, oops, let's try hitting legato on these. We're gonna. Sh that way it cuts off when the snare hits. Uh, yeah. We still got one. Let's put a, uh, let's put a percussion in here. Mm, let's try a wood one. Fuck it. Let's go. I like it. Boom. Highlight it all. Command J. And there's our beat. As you could see, all in one channel. We can even mix this a little bit better. Let's send this over to the right ear. 
put this in the left ear. I like picking random ones and just throwing it in one side. Uh, that's it. Maybe slap some OTTD on this. OTTT. Uh, I'll bring this sub back up. Uh. I did a whole tutorial on OTT in one of my last videos. I'll put a link to that in the description. But as you can see, impulse is really tight. Uh, you can jam out like this drum pad style, you know, and that's a, uh, you know, w without any kind of hands-on musicianship, you know, really what is making music. So this is this is my favorite way to pro to program drums because when I when I'm done, I may duplicate this, you know, Command D eight times and then go in each one and delete everything but one cell so that way I can call this one hi-hat and this one 808 and whatever. Uh, and you don't have to change nothing in the MIDI and that way you could separate it out when you're ready to start mixing it. But it all starts with impulse. The idea starts with impulse and that's why I love impulse. And a lot of people who just have the basic version of Ableton may think that they're very limited with impulse, but actually this is a, uh, a tool with actually I think less limitations than all the other tools. So I hope you enjoy using impulse I'll catch you next week with another tutorial. I appreciate you subscribing and sticking around this long. Right now, the whole Loop Summer sale is going on until uh, next Friday. That is June 9th, I think. Uh, you can use the promo code Production Time, 20% off all whole loop samples. That's what I'm using in this beat. New whole loops product coming soon. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.